Hey guys, what is up? Ebian Gaming back today with another episode of Factions on Extraordinary. Guys, I am a little bit sick. Very sorry about that, so my voice sounds a bit weird today. But forget that. Let's get started with this episode. So guys, as you can probably tell from the title, today we're going to get our money-making system started. And it looks like on this money that Sugarcane is pretty much king. Because if you see over here, check this out. Sugarcane, right here. 16 for $50. That's $3 for sugarcane. It's really easy to harvest. So I have already started the sugarcane farm back at my base. I have quite a bit of money from voting. I'm going to invest that in some sugarcane. Probably buy about three stacks of it. Uh, one, two, three, four. There's four. There's three stacks of sugarcane. Let's go back to our base and get the sugarcane farm done. So guys, it is a Wednesday right now. I got to stay home from school today. Yay. Because, uh, yeah, snow day. So yay. <laughs> All right. Let's expand this sugar farm, boys. Oh, I hope this works. <laughs> well, that went horribly. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I got my TNT back, too. Strange. Alright. Uh, hmm. Let's try this. That was supposed to be epic. Just like, oh, man. That was supposed to be, like, really epic. Just totally failed. <laughs> All right, you can do it. There you go. Well, that was a little bit better. Oh goodness, this is bad. This this is embarrassing, guys. I I'm sorry. All right. Uh, yeah. Let me go grab a few redstone torches. Yeah, guys. So we're gonna build the biggest sugarcane farm that we can. Apparently, I put that TNT too far apart. I was gonna be like, oh, hey, let's blow up some TNT, and then that happened. So you know, whoops. But yeah. Alright, let's turn our volume down a bit and finish lighting all this up. I have that one, I have that one. Oh, come on. It's already embarrassing enough. It seems like I get my redstone torches back, so that's nice. I'll take it. Ah, there you go, bud. Alright, well, that was a very uneven explosion. Not very well done by me. My apologies. My apologies, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was, that was pretty, <laughs> that's pretty bad. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so I did find some diamonds mining in this cavern, so we can actually now make a uh, diamond pickaxe, which I have right now. Very nice to use that, because my iron ones that I got with the starter kit kept breaking. Oh, more diamonds. Sweet. Excellent. I'll take it, man. I will take what I can get. Alright, so let's go ahead and mine this out, and we will build our sugarcane farm inside here. Get oh, come on, man. Come on. You can do better than this. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and mine up uh, all these resources, of course. And then, uh, yeah. So basically, we're going to mine up the entire floor. And then I have some bugs of water I grabbed from the overworld. Or from, you know, the surface. And uh, a few, and some dirt. We're going to dig up all this dirt we can find. Because uh, we do need that. Oh, I made this wall too big. We do need that dirt for um, the sugarcane farm to grow the sugarcane on. Because I am pretty low on dirt right now. I have tons of cobble, but unfortunately, sugar cane does not grow on cobble. They don't work that way. So, uh, yeah. So basically, that's what we're gonna do. And looks like I need to. Looks like I blew that up a few layers too. Is that a name? No, it's not. By the way, the reason I couldn't figure out why there was wasn't bedrock. Uh, the bedrock on the server it just goes to Y1. Like, okay, I almost showed my course there. No, not again. <laughs> uh, the bedrock goes to Y1. It's just like a flat layer of it there, and then there's nothing above that level. So, it makes it a lot easier, actually, to build a bedrock wall. I never thought about that. So hopefully, I can get some money from this sugarcane farm, and I get two home sets. Three if I donate, which I might be planning on doing, maybe. Uh, so, actually, what I think I can do is build an available vault on this. If I get some obsidian or bedrock or whatever, uh, I, I already have some obsidian, I think. So, if I get some bedrock, I will be able to build an unrateable vault. That will be a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and finish this flooring in right here, and then we'll get started on the cane farm. Alright, and we are back, guys, so how I want to build this thing, yeah, the ceiling looks really high right now, I know, and it looks pretty ugly in here, but you know, it's all good. So my first row of sugar cane's going to be right here, we might end up needing some more dirt, we can go grab that at the shop though. Again, I'm going to turn my Minecraft sounds down, because this is kind of loud. Alright, there we go. I turned it up a bunch because I wasn't, like, it wasn't working earlier, and now it's just, like, really loud. Alright, so we're going to place this across like so, and if we need, I guess if we need some more dirt, we can get right there. Uh, so we're going to run this across, this will be our row, and then we will, of course, put water in between them, 
and that'll be awesome. So, topic. In my comments, you guys have seemed uh, pretty responsive to me joining Extronus, Extronus, whatever you want to call it. I've already gotten a lot of activity on the video, a few likes on that video that I made uh, for joining the server, and it's a pretty awesome server. Again, IP in the description if you want to come join. I should be starting up a faction on here fairly soon. That'll be a lot of fun. The music is still too loud. Come on, man. Okay, 4%. That's what it was at before. There we go. Nice, quiet dirt placing. All right. <laughs> We're making the neighbors mad with our loudness. Alright, I guess I can do this a lot faster than I'm doing it right now. Uh, there we go. Almost exactly the right amount, but not quite. So let's mine some of this out. I'll be really happy if this farm is like the perfect size once we finish it. Uh, yeah, let's just grab some of this. Probably need like half a stack of it. But you guys have seemed pretty responsive to me joining the server. Very happy about that. Hope you guys are good with me joining it. And yeah, I guess we'll see where the future takes us in terms of factions. But I am already having a lot of fun on this server. And yeah. It's already turning out that it looks a lot easier to find raids than on the Archon. Because on the Archon, everyone had an unclaimed vault. And here, uh, people actually claim there. So it'll be a lot of fun trying to, like, TNT cannon in some bases, take stuff. Should be quite an experience. So I'm glad that I have found a nice faction server to play on. Shout out to Extronis for being a really good faction server, actually. I've only been on it for a little bit, and I'm already liking it. And yeah, we'll see where the future takes us for that. So we are almost done with this, and looks like we did actually make it right size. We can put another row right there soon. We will, of course, plan on expanding this soon. Uh, but I'm going to AFK out of a bit in a second once I finish it, and then I'll show you what my sales give me. And then that should be good, and we can start making some money. Uh, I'm pretty sure I might get raided in this space fairly quickly. I'm not really sure, though. I mean, it is an unclaimed vault, but uh, I'm in it a lot, so people might see my name and come raid me. I'm not really sure, though, so... I might get raided fairly easily in this, but I'm basically doing this as like a, a first operation base or whatever, and after I get bigger on the server, get more money, I'll be able to build a better base and make it, you know, put more effort into making it further out and less raidable and jazz like that. So that should be awesome. So I'm going to finish placing this water real fast, and I'll see you back in a second. Alright, and there we are, nice and looking good in here. And now we are going to see if I actually bought enough sugar cane. So we'll just plant that right now. And we should end up making some pretty good profit off it. Because you can sell 16 of them for 50. Which I believe is about uh, $3 per piece of sugar cane. And uh, <laughs> there's my failed redstone torch. It's about $3 per piece of sugar cane uh, that you can sell it for. And I'll have, I guess, 15 planted in each row. So 15, 45, 75... Uh, 105, 135, 100, and see, that's probably wrong, but that should be 165 sugarcane planted, which means I do have enough, so that's awesome. Uh, so if that all grows to its full height of three, and then I harvest that, that'll actually be, um, oh, never do math in videos. All right, that'll be 330 sugarcanes, which is almost a thousand dollars, so not too bad. And then with that thousand, we can, of course, expand the farm. Because a thousand is actually enough to buy like another stack or so, so we will be able to expand the farm with that, and hopefully we get a really, really big sugar. Okay, did I do my math wrong? I think I did it right. I'm not sure. Uh, never, never do math in videos, guys. <laughs> never, ever, ever. All right. So that should be quite a bit of money that I get from that. I'll just say, I'll just say quite a bit. That's my answer. Quite a bit of money that I get from that. We will be able to expand this, of course, and it should be pretty awesome. So yeah. I will, I'm, I'm home from school all day today, so I'll probably be AFKing quite a bit at this, and at the end of the day, I will film another clip and see how much we managed to make from this, and yeah, that'll be awesome, so what do we have right now? $4,616, and I will be back soon to show you guys how much we make. Adios, guys. Be right back. Alright, guys, and we are back. I've been working on my farms for a few hours now. Let's see what we got guys. So here is my I just thought I saw something for some reason. Here's my completed sugar cane farm. I built it out a lot more, a lot bigger now, getting me quite a bit of sugar cane. I think I got 12 stacks on the last harvest, so that is quite nice. And I also built a melon farm, because melons are actually uh, they actually sell for a lot. You can sell 16 slices for fifty dollars, and you usually get like uh that's an axe I dropped. You usually get like uh what is it? fifty dollars or usually get four or five slices per melon so with just three of these melon blocks you could like you can make a lot of money you can make fifty bucks off that and they grow like weeds you can see because since i've been in here like three more have grown so uh 
After all this farming, we have this much to sell. I've already sold a little bit at the shop, but now we have our biggest sale yet. Let's sell this, see what our final amount's going to be. I also bought a lottery ticket, but we didn't win, so it's kind of disappointing, because I would've won $55,000, but you know, whatever. Don't play the lottery, kids. There's also quite a bit of money in cactus. We're gonna have to invest in that later, but let's see what we get from the sugar cane. So we're just gonna spam this sell button, beat the crap out of it. Oh yeah, baby, look at all those $50 that's been added to your account. Yes, it has, my friend. Yes, it has. I like broke a diamond pick, digging all this stuff out, and then look at my new pick right now. How oh, it's already halfway damaged. We've dug out a lot of stuff today. All right, all that money from the sugar cane, time for the melon slices. You can actually make infinite money here, because if you buy 16 melon blocks for $250, and then you break them all and you get five slices per melon you get 80 you could like you could like make money off that it's weird if you had like a fortune axe we'll have to do that in the future if fortune works on melt i don't know but that's just a side note guys let's see how much money we have after that after that's selling spam slash money twelve thousand dollars there we go guys second episode on the server we have over twelve thousand dollars I've seen, already seen several spawners for sale for that. I think I want to buy a skeleton spawner because you can sell the arrows and the bones for 32 for 50 and 32 for 50. And we will, keep, of course, keep our farm base as long as we can. And yeah, guys, there you go. Made 8k in a day. Not too shabby for one day. And that will end off this episode of... Where I, oh, yeah. <laughs> extra satisfaction. Sorry, guys. Forgot which server I was on for a second. So thank you so much, guys, so much for watching this. If you did enjoy, please drop a like. If you like to see more, please subscribe. But until next time, EBN Gaming out. Peace.